So the most important lesson I ever learned about the economy didn't come from a classroom or a book or a seminar or a professor, nothing like that. It was actually a real estate lesson from a friend who's a property investor. He said, man, there's so many investors out there trying to buy the cheapest properties and turn around and make the biggest profit off of them and at the largest scale that they can because they just see their properties as sources of profit. And they'll barely consider the other people involved unless it's constructed to them making that profit. And he was like, I used to do that, man. I was only concerned about money. It was seen to be getting in the way of me making my profits was taking care of my tenants. It cost me time and it cost me money. So make a long story short, my investor friend has some kind of spiritual awakening and put himself in the shoes of somebody living in one of his properties, right? And he said, no, man, I'm going to make a home for people. I'm going to go above and beyond and put extra care in fixing and maintaining the property. And I'm going to check in with my residents. And if something could be better about their home, I'm going to make it better. So this is what he's been doing for years. And the interesting thing is his tenants stay longer. and They take better care of their homes and his properties don't lose money. So his business is still very profitable it's more sustainable, and it caters to the interests of not just him, the producer, but to his tenants, the consumers. So where's the lesson? How does this all come back to the economy? Well, what's the economy? It's the system of goods and services that we produce and consume. Why? Why do we produce things? We do it to sustain and enhance life, to make things better and more efficient and easier. We produce food and appliances and electronics and transportation and energy and medical services and education and entertainment and whatever else. We produce everything imaginable and it's all in the name of helping people thrive. That's the purpose of an economy. We make products and services and pay for them so we and our communities can thrive, on paper at least. And the thing that gets in the way is greed. Businesses get so wrapped up in minimizing expenses and maximizing profits that they can neglect the human side of economics. So consumers aren't so much people with needs and wants as they are money carriers. Now, when my investor friend switched his priority from maximizing profit to maximizing value for his consumers, he found that it was the best thing for his business. It was still profitable, and it did exactly what a business is supposed to do. It helped community members thrive. That's the lesson. You prioritize value and you can absolutely still make money. And on top of that, you'll be making your world better by adding value to it. Now, we all know there's plenty of greedy people out there and we can say whatever we want about it. But at the end of the day, we're all human and we're all more than capable of getting greedy. But that also means that we're all more than capable of having a paradigm shift in our thinking and in our actions, just like my investor friend did. Today's business leaders are shaping and building tomorrow's economy in the way they think and the way they act. So I'm saying let's build something that isn't just profitable, but something that's valuable. And that's when we're going to start seeing our economy doing exactly what it's supposed to do.